The foundations of Darwin's ideas were laid before he was born in 1809. His father was a wealthy society doctor from Shrewsbury, his mother from the famous Wedgwood Pottery family. Charles was surrounded by massive religious influence. The Church of England, his mother's Unitarian faith. Most of all, the ideas of his grandfathers laid the foundation for Darwin's later career. Erasmus Darwin and Josiah Wedgwood were free-thinking rationalists and humanists. As members of the Lunar Society, they were noted for challenging conventional thought on philosophy, politics, religion, and science. They were interested in invention, uh, and they didn't set any limits for themselves. Erasmus Darwin, his grandfather, for example, imagined chariots in the air, imagined air travel. You know, and some people make fun of him, but you know, of course, it's happened. Erasmus Darwin is a fascinating character. He developed a worldview which did include the general idea of evolution, and it comes into some of his poems, and it's expressed in a biological treatise he wrote called The Zoonomia. There's a whole chapter in that about what we would call uh, evolution. Grandad Zoonomia inspired a boy whose greatest delights were creating grand stories and investigating nature. Later in life, when Darwin explores the possibility of evolution, passages of zoonomia would be added to his beloved notebooks. Notebooks filled with thoughts, questions, ideas. Ideas that grow as the boy becomes a man. <laughs> 